The Chicago Bears got their guy at pick number 75 in the third round. They get a massive boost of offensive line depth in the third round by taking offensive tackle Karan Amagaji out of Yale. We've actually hit on this guy before in one of our previous mock drafts, taking him at 75, and he's a top 30 visit, and I can see why polls wanted him. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago Bears. My name is Nick Brody, and as always, thank you for tuning in. Yes, the Chicagoland native is coming. Coming home, someone who hasn't given up a sack in the NCAA since week 11 of 2021, according to PFF, and I am super excited about this pick. A little bit of offensive tackle competition with Braxton Jones, maybe, or Jones maybe moving into guard. Who knows, but a depth piece for sure at the end of the day, and I am pumped about this. Before I get more into Karan and what he brings to the Chicago Bears offensive line, if you are excited about what has been happening in this draft so far, make sure to smash the like button on this video to show your support, comment your overall grade of the draft, and as always, please subscribe to the channel and stay up to date on all Chicago Bears news and notifications. And I am giving away a Caleb Williams and Roma Dunze jersey. All you have to do is comment on this video your grade of the draft along with liking this video and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already winner will be announced monday on the community page now let's get more into quran the 6 5 318 pound offensive tackle comes from yale who he has played in three seasons in the ncaa and like i told you he gives up no sack his last sack that he gave up was his rookie season in 2021 in week 11 and it was the only sack he ever gave up while playing at yale in over 1500 career offensive snaps he is only a allowed one sack, four quarterback hits, and 11 quarterback hurries his freshman year, and nine over the last two years, making 20 quarterback hurries in total. Penalties? Two. What makes him so special in the third round? If this guy would have played in all 10 games this past year, guaranteed you he would have been in conversation being a first rounder. He is coming off an injury, but nothing wrong with that. Nothing serious. It was a leg injury that he fought through throughout the season. Nothing major. So it's good to have him back. And we got an absolute steal of him in the third round. He got an 89.5 grade according to PFF, one of the highest ranked offensive line and the highest ranked one left on the board when the Bears him at 75. The Bears also brought him in for a top 30 visit, so they got to know him. So now that everyone they've drafted so far this year has been top 30 visits. Polls hinted that they weren't going to maybe do that. Maybe they were going to take someone that they hadn't met with, but they did meet with Karan, and this guy is awesome. So clearly has great protection, doesn't get penalized. He's coming off an injury, so he dropped in his stock a little bit. But overall, Bears get an absolute trade him and add depth to this offensive line. Let's go a little bit more into his scouting report according to PFF. He ran a 5.140 time, making him a great swing tackle for this offensive line in order to put in different run packages because of his speed. His pass blocking grade, according to NFLDraftBuzz.com, was 94 out of 100, and his run blocking grade was 80 out of 100. Again, a first round projected pick any other year, but due to his injury, he fell. According to scouts, his first step is fantastic, and that's why he's not only given up only one sack, but not a ton of quarterback hurries or quarterback hits because of the fact that he's able to beat out defense defensive edges and when they're trying to attack the quarterback. A massive frame with great arm lane covers a lot of a different area and also great leg drive when going against defenders to pile drive them and pancake them into the ground. Impressive balance as well. Doesn't lose his footing easily, holds his own, and is a fantastic pass blocker. His hand uses is great. He doesn't allow for swatting or different hand moves to get around him while he's going against edges on a bull rush. He holds his own super well, and his scouts were able to see that when he played at Yale, and they also received that at the combine. Some of his weaknesses, typical offensive lineman stuff. Sometimes he misses a step. Sometimes his hand uses could be a little bit better in placement of chest pads, but overall, nothing that this guy can't improve of. Scouts say he's very coachable, a very smart player, and Ryan can see why Ryan Poles wanted him. And finally, of course, the kid is a Chicago land native. He loved growing up watching the Chicago Bears. He is a Bears fan, so he's going to play harder for this team. And again, a third round pick. Clearly, they see a lot of value in him. Cedric Van Prom was on the board at center. Bears did a fantastic job going three for three on their first three picks in this draft. And I am super stoked about this pickup. I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below about Karan, but welcome into Chicago by putting that in the comment section below. But with that, thank you as always for this episode of Just Another Year Chicago Bears. My name is Dick Rohde and as always, bear down, baby.